Hi, welcome to this hands-on session on Databricks. I am Aliza Tanvir and in this lesson we will learn how to set up a cluster which is the actual engine that does the work in the Databricks and how to start it. By the end of the lesson, you will learn how to navigate Databricks UI. Moreover, you will also learn how to set up a cluster with configuration settings to use and of course you will see how to start the cluster so we can do some real work in the upcoming lessons. After logging into your Databricks community account, this is the main Databricks window that you are going to see. You can always get back to this window on the main page by clicking the logo present on the left hand side. So for this video we have to learn how to create a cluster and for that move towards this plus sign that says create. Click on this button and you will see three options notebook, table and cluster. Since we want to create a cluster simply click cluster. You will see the following window in order to create a new cluster. First you have to define a name to your cluster. I am going to call it my first cluster. Okay, You can give any name to your cluster. Then we have an option. To select the Databricks runtime version. I am going to go with the default value but you can select any version from the list here. Here you can see that there are standard and ML. ML stands for the versions for machine learning. So I am going to go with the default value. So here I am working with the community edition so it, it is going to provide me 15 GB memory and the cluster will be automatically terminated after an idle pe period of 2 hours ok then I am going to simply click the create cluster button the cluster is going to take some time for creation and after a while your cluster will be created and it will be ready to use so we will get back once the cluster is created you can view the status of cluster by clicking on event log here here you can see that your cluster is being created Now you can see that a cluster has been created. You can also check it in the event log. You can see that your uh, cluster is created in this duration and it is running. Okay, so this is how you can create a cluster. Moreover, if you want to start an already existing cluster, move toward this left navigation menu and go towards compute. And here inside the compute window you will see all the clusters that you have created. This is the cluster that I just created and it is already running. And this is a cluster that I created previously. So if I want to start this particular cluster I simply have to click the start button and the cluster will be created. So this is all for this video. Thank you.